The Judicial Service Commission is adamant that Western Cape Judge President John Schlope should face impeachment. It's outlined its case in a 34-page document which explains the majority of its members, in fact, found Schlope's conduct fell below the high standards expected of judges. That's right. So that document will form part of the JSC submission for parliamentary impeachment processes or proceedings, which will decide essentially on Schlope's fate. Now, it follows a finding by the Judicial Conduct Tribunal that Schlope is guilty of gross misconduct, which is impeachable under the Constitution. We begin our coverage now with this report from Newsroom Africa's news editor, Diane Hawker. It all started here with two conversations that have the potential to change the life of Judge John Schlope forever. In 2008, the Western Cape Judge President spoke to Judges Bess Nkabinde and Chris Jafta at the center of those conversations, former President Jacob Zuma. Schlope was accused of trying to influence Nkabinde and Jafta in connection with the arms deal case. He did not seek to improperly persuade me. In my sense, he was attempting to influence me. In December, a judicial conduct tribunal found Judge Schlope guilty of gross misconduct. And this week, the JSC decided to uphold that decision, meaning that the first step of the impeachment process is complete. The next step of the process involves Parliament, which will need to vote on whether Schlope will be impeached. They will use the reports of the tribunal and the JSC to make the final determination. What we would be expecting now is to hear from the Speaker. Um, we imagine that the National Assembly is going to uh, convene and would have a vote. That's, that's why this is now perhaps more of a political story uh, than a legal story. An impeachment decision will need a two-thirds majority of Parliament to agree to it. This implies the ANC and some opposition MPs will have to agree for the motion to pass. I think this is an opportunity for Parliament to redeem itself. Um, MPs need to show all of us that the salaries that we pay them every month um, are going to good use. Um, they should be showing us that they're acting in all our collective interest, regardless of our different uh, colors and creeds, in terms of political uh, persuasions, but they should act in the best interests of the country and they should look beyond uh, the narrow party or factional interests. The JSC is now considering whether Judge Schlope should be suspended and has called on those involved in his tribunal to make submissions. In terms of Section 177 of the Constitution, the President can suspend a judge while an impeachment process is still underway. If Lope is impeached, he will lose all benefits as a sitting judge. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Diane Hawker in Johannesburg.